you. Hey, what's up, Waterloo? Checking in, wrapping up day two last night. As you saw in the video, uh, we're on day three now, uh, banquet today, so I'm going to the museum. Uh, finally got some sleep last night. Hell yeah, we did. Uh, after we let we had locked you locked you out yesterday afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I hey, got a good that, for that story, check out our vlog from yesterday. Yeah, I could have got a good nap in, but this <laughs> motherfucker is locking me out. I even pounded on the guy. I should have videoed that. That would have been hysterical. <laughs> I could have put it right into the vlog. We're like, fuckers, <laughs> open up. Dude, we party too hard Thursday night. We were out. I, I kind of want to show. I'll show him, but I'll show him like this. Yeah, that's about as much as I can show you. He's standing there naked. Right? <laughs> but naked. I mean, I'm trying not to work. I mean, I'm going to show you my facial expression. I am not looking at all, totally. You I guys mean. know you want to taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got our videos demonetized. Whoa. And I, I, YouTube just hit the demonetized yeah, button you, on our videos. YouTube's like, we're taking that down. <laughs> I no, want to put a no, pass to base really on the copyright laws. Really, guys? He, he's not. Come on. Would you really think we'd be letting him stand there naked? <laughs> I'm not going to show you because it's disrespectful. All right, but Zach, getting on to the real story here. I am the what, real story. What a great, <laughs> <laughs> what a great show last night. Oh, fantastic. great show from Impact Pro Wrestling. Uh, first of all, I want to give a huge congratulations to the Lone Star, Kurt Stallion, this year's Hall of Fame Classic winner, finally, because he's been competing for the last three years in this tournament and he finally finally yeah. breaks through him, and becomes victory him, mean, and, him and airwolf tore it up oh last god night. that was a fantastic match yeah. just uh, fan every match in that tournament was really great like it's one of the mo more fun aspects of this year of the hall of fame weekend that they started doing absolutely it is uh i'm gonna flip the camera yes. on myself here see if i can do I, I, as you can see i'm still wearing that shit from last night uh, i just woke up a little bit ago we're gonna drop some audio here as you can see Getting ready to record this week's ish, ish edition of Shotgun Wrestling Radio. Hopefully we'll have that out early for you guys as opposed yeah. to our normal Friday time. So maybe we'll have it out by the middle of the week here maybe, for you guys. Uh, definitely check out blog one and two. We're going to blog a little bit today. These guys are actually going to go home after the banquet. Uh, I'm going to see. I didn't party too hard last night. I had like three beers down at the bar. Uh, down here at the Ramada, Carolina. Yes, yeah, awesome. shout out to Caroline, our favorite uh, bartender here at the uh, lovely Ramada. And it was great to get food on time yeah, shortly yeah. after we ordered it. No yeah. offense to the other bar that everybody else goes to, but every year I get, I, got, I just got tired of it. So we stayed here at the lovely Ramada, and I think we were all in bed by no later than 12 o'clock. Yeah, I got back here at 11.30. Me and Sean hung out for a while. Uh, and then Sean said he was calling in at night. And then uh, I finally pulled the couch bed out, as you see right here. So, before we continue on here, Zach, I did want to ask you, for you, what was the highlight for the Hall of Fame show last night for you? Multiple things. The Miss Frankie J Hill turn uh, during the well, part of faking, fake, that, faking the blown out knee, the, the reaction from, from Travis and Justin and everyone involved, and then her kicking Victoria was fantastically done. And seeing fucking Ultimo Dragon, man. It was amazing, not only getting to meet Ultimo Dragon, but seeing him come out and wrestle Matty Starr was fantastic. And then James Jeffries and Brian, and Brian, beat Brian Blair, Brian Blair turning Hill in his last ever matchup, uh, taking out James with a ridiculous bell shot. Yeah, that was that was something. And you know, how about another highlight? Mal is taking that chair shot oh my that God. he took. The that, sound that, just echoes in my head. Like I, th I think Ray's won by the Death Dealer now. Yeah. Yep. Him and Malice. Yep. Uh, they had they had a dog collar match for the Extreme IPW oh Extreme my Title. God, what a brutal matchup! The freaking chair was folded up. Oh, I and, mean, I'm not a fan of unprotected chair shots. Yeah. But and nonetheless, that was brutal. Uh, uh, also, though, huge congratulations to the new IPW Women's Champion. I was just going there. Karanoia. I mean, uh, she's great, the new. Great, great minds think alike. Because I was just heading there. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, Bryce Jordan, big picture was good. Congratulations to Bryce Jordan on being the Wu Fest Cup Memorial uh, uh, Battle Royal winner this year. Uh, he left, in the match with, with big picture, he left everything in there, including blood. So uh, now you can see DJ here, that he's more dressed. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to head, we're going to do some audio. We're going to go over to the museum. Uh, we're going to go, well, dj has got to go off and hang out with. One of his friends One and ditch us for lunch. Yeah, that's okay though. Yeah, yeah that's okay. We've hung out with him enough. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe we'll catch more Sean here after a while. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but nonetheless, that's going to do it for this update, guys. I don't want to keep it too long. So uh, appreciate you guys watching it, and we'll check in again here real shortly. You know, he basically came in, did the meet and greet, and then had to take off. You know, so kudos to him for even you know coming by for what he did, because that was that was very cool to meet a former w, former WWE champion and current WWE superstar, Sheamus. So that was that was pretty neat. Um, but yeah, Zach, let's go ahead and get to the rest of the matchups here as we. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Why you doing? What's the Zig man? With this beautiful brick wall behind me, just checking in on the vlog or the blog or whatever you want to call it. Zach's over at the museum, taking all the panels. Uh, DJ's back with me. He just got back. Thought he was gonna get locked out of the hotel. They only do that to me. I'm not. I'm not a dick like that. Love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Sean's over here. Oh. We probably should go to the museum. Um. Yeah, you're like, man, dude, your face is you got some bags under it. Finally got some sleep last night. But uh, day three here. Why are we? I can't believe it's almost already over. Man. It was, it was by so quick. We have so much fun. There's so much action packed into just a few days that you blink, you miss it. But we still have the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Uh, always a good time, good food. Unfortunately, JR could not make it this year. Uh, always a good time to meet him, but looking forward to the Hall of Fame tonight. What do you say? <laughs> All right, the Zig Man, Jagger Wrestling. See you soon. What? Zig Man with Shaggy Wrestling Radio. The Honor Now signings. There's Zach over there. Zach! Say hi. What? Say hi. Hi. On the blog here. At the Dan Gable Museum, getting ready to meet Natalia and uh, Phoenix. Big line, just a champion. Just waiting in line. But uh, we're here at the Dan Gable Museum today. And uh, we'll catch up with you one more time. A little later on at the hotel. And then the banquet. Hey, don't block and drive, kids. Yo, yo, definitely not. We just got done meeting Natalia at the museum along with Beth Phoenix. Sean Fox with Please me. Please don't kill us. Dylan Kroger. Yo. Zach Takis. Uh, just doing a quick blog update here. Green light go. Give us a shot. Uh, we're going to get some food at, <laughs> of all places, Quick Snack. <laughs> but you need a discount? Uh, no, not really. I don't get a discount. But we're going to run out of Quick Start at 63rd, get some food and some other shit. I might buy a bag. Uh, no, we get ice on that thing. Uh, I might get an energy drink though. Uh, but I just want to do a quick update, just checking in. We're driving, don't ever do this. It's kind of raining here in Waterloo. Getting ready to go back to the hotel. Getting ready to go to the banquet a little bit later on. Uh, look forward to that. And then these guys in the back will peace out. And uh, then me and Sean, we'll see what the night brings on Saturday night here in Waterloo. Let's do it. So let's get out of here though. Dig, dig see you, it. sir. Dig, dig it all. They, uh, I'm seeing the wrestler at that show. I'm vlogging. Oh, cool. Every time we're vlogging, we're, we're show, semi live here at the uh, really production ceremony. Sean Fox, say hello. Hey, everybody. Yeah, that's all I got. We're waiting to get our food. Uh, Inductions haven't started yet. Cool, watch this. DJ, this is what he does all weekend. You see right here? Tweet stuff. <laughs> Gotta get my tweets out. People need to know what I'm doing. Right. I don't want to get people that don't want to be on the vlog on yeah. And then comes to me, uh, see my ugly bill here on the thing. But uh, I'm just going to pan the building above everybody here. Kind of get an idea of what's going on in here. Everybody in line over there eating. And got a rapid back on this for uh, oh, okay. this band. What's up? That's all I got. All right, all right. Zigman, Zach Tegas, checking in at the banquet and uh, day three of the blog. I'll uh, see you guys soon. This is, this is what it looks like right here. Marty, you're mixing earlier.
receive me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, take the Jerry Driscoll. I'm not sure. I, I wasn't sure, but now I know who brought B. Brian Blair into the business, so you and I got to go and talk later. <laughs> Everybody's allowed to the state, right? Um, very happy to be here. Brian Shield said everything I was going to say, so I don't have to thank anybody else. <laughs> and uh, you all know where I've been, where I'm at, so I'll tell you where I came from. Uh, my mother, of course. And, uh, <laughs> I was uh, born down in uh, Buford, South Carolina, Beaufort. To Paris Island, as my father did. And I was born in uh, Beaufort, or Buford, and uh, went back to Minnesota where they had a farm. And uh, that's where I grew up, Minnesota. And of course, uh, AWA was the wrestling that we watched. Very young. I'm comfortable now, so that's on me. What a great evening. Some amazing stories, and um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And I don't know I, why these situations make me so nervous, but so I have some some written words down, um, and I'd like to tell you guys a story of, of kind of my journey, because I think it's kind of relevant to today's climate and sports and in wrestling. So, from the time I was a little girl, all I wanted to be was a wrestler. But I had no idea that there was a difference between amateur and pro wrestling. To me, amateur wrestling was something you did in order to one day graduate to the skill level of pro. You know, kid logic. So, while I played tennis and ran track, my heart was telling me that if I had this wild dream to be a wrestler, then I had to join my high school wrestling team. The problem was that there wasn't a, girl, a girls wrestling team at my school. There wasn't a girls wrestling team in our section in our state. And as a matter of fact, there wasn't a girls wrestling team in the entire state of New York. So, just to give it a little context, and I'm speaking from a time before the internet, for those in the room that remember that, the only states that have begun to entertain female participa participation were a few select schools, mostly in the, in the Midwest, like Mount St. Louis. And at that time, if you were a girl like myself that wanted to wrestle, you had to wrestle the boys. So, in high school, the winter sports sign-up sheet was passed around. I wrote my name at the top, as I did every sports season, took a deep breath, I took the plunge, and I checked the box under boys wrestling. The next thing I knew, I found myself being called right into the principal's office. So I was terrified. Our school sports director sat me down and said, I noticed that you made a mistake on the sports sign-up sheet. You checked a box under the boys' sports column. And so I timidly said, yes. Knowing full well that I wanted to do this, perhaps more than anything else I've ever wanted to do in my life. So the sports director leaned into me and said, yes, you made a mistake? And I took one big, hard swallow, and I said, yeah, I made a mistake. Just like that, I chickened out. I freaked, and so I chose winter track instead. So fast forward to 1997, the year that Dolly the Sheep was cloned and Harry Potter was published, and here comes the winter sports sign-up sheet again. I got clammy and cold as it moved from one student to student, heading my way to my desk. And finally, as that sheet was placed in front of me, I wrote my name, took another deep breath, and checked boys wrestling. And soon, I found myself again in the principal's office. And I was faced with the exact same conversation. So, I noticed, young lady, that you made a mistake on your sign-up sheet. You checked boys wrestling. I started to break out in a sweat again. This time, I just nodded. Our athletic director asked, did you mean to check girls' winter track? And I felt the deja vu of the moment falling over me again. But I mustered every last drop of courage I had, and I said, no, 
So our athletic director, looking a little perplexed, said, no, uh, did you mean girls basketball? I looked at him and I said, no, I want to wrestle. And this was one of the biggest decisions of my life. Now, some people were receptive. Some people were awesome. They were proud of me and encouraging, but not everybody. Some people were angry, including my own parents. They were hateful and judgmental, called me attention seeking, questioned my motives. And I learned that the cost of going after something you truly believe in is huge. So I wanted to close tonight by sharing a beautiful quote by one of the most stellar human beings I've had the pleasure of knowing, Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett sent me a lovely text and said these words, you always know great people by the company they keep. And I think the same could be said for our congregation here of gritty warriors. And Charlie Fez gave me another wonderful quote as we were talking about the values and um, the experiences that, that we felt in wrestling and, and things that Lou felt. And Charlie said to me something that just stuck. In wrestling, we stick by our friends. And to me, that's what this museum is all about. Brothers, sisters, we get each other. That's special. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Jake Man with Shotgun Radio. Uh, back here at what we're now calling the Hot Bar. Hot the Bar. Hot Bar. Hot bar. <laughs> uh, we checked it out down the road. Man, not a lot happening in Waterloo tonight. Bengal was good. Uh, good to see uh, Beth Copeland, Beth Phoenix, if you will, inducted in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I, I enjoyed Brian Shields' uh, speech as well. Uh, dude's pretty tight, pretty sweet, pretty awesome dude. So, uh, uh, nonetheless, it's been a fun weekend wrapping it up here in Waterloo tonight, hanging out with Sean, as you can see here, uh, because the boys had already already went home uh, earlier today, but we're wrapping up the last vlog. We're uh, having a little soda water. A little soda water right there. Uh, definitely at the, the what we're titling now the hot, hot bar. So... But nonetheless, it's been fun. Uh, this bar, if we could start to go fund me for this bar to get some AC, <laughs> uh, we could do that. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, this is the last check-in from day three in Waterloo tomorrow morning. Well, you know what? I might do one more on the way home tomorrow. Uh, just wrapping up the whole weekend. And uh, this should be out here soon. Also look for the new episode of Shotgun Wrestling Radio uh, that we taped just earlier today uh, in our room upstairs. So fun weekend again so far and uh here i am having this sugar water right there and my buddy over here is the old dude i can see that That's good. he gave it up and he's been doing good and he's hung on me all weekend long and i've been an asshole so but nonetheless uh checking with you guys soon love you thanks for the support uh from what we're entitled the hot bar but yeah check us out Fan. Those are your biggest fans tonight, man. And fan over there. So, all right, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, last day, heading home, checking out 820. A uh, little after 11. Had to grab one more bag. Uh, gonna get some soda over here and head for Marshtown. So, just wanted to check in one last time and tell everybody thank you for the weekend. Thanks to Toy and Shane and the YPW crew. Everyone involved in the Dan Gable Museum for another fantastic weekend. And uh, I can't wait for 2020. I'm already excited to get back to Waterloo again. I can't believe it's over. Uh, Zach and DJ headed home last night. Uh, thanks to Sean Fox for hanging out with me uh, on Saturday night. And uh, it was also good to see Ace, Kyle, and everyone else. So uh, thanks everybody for a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you next year. And I definitely got to get back to Des Moines shows, too. It's been a while since I've been night bit up Des Moines. Uh, as Nicole called me out on that. But uh, I'll get back to it, I promise. See you guys. Love you. And uh, look for that new episode that's probably out before this. So check it out.